Hello, I am Jerry Fort. And I'm Jeremy Fort. And we're going to review this Split Log Farms cheese. This is the jalapeno. Um, right there. I say jalapeno jack? Mm -hmm. Yeah, jalapeno jack. Blended Monterey Jack with jalapenos. Has milk also in it. This is one of, what, five? One of five or six. <laughs> well, these were given to me by Robert Little. He's the cheese meister of the Split Log Farms and uh, um, carrying on a, on a family uh, uh, cheese recipe. Um, so he's, he's still, he's new, getting, getting started. Um, with this with his little business and he uh, he is the brother of a friend of mine and he's also a new friend of mine so um, he gave me these to review so we're re we've been reviewing these uh, you can look at the the previous um, reviews that we've done we did an introductory vid video and told what we can remember or what I could remember Jeremy wasn't with me that day of what he told me and then what my friend Bruce has told me. Um, I do plan on trying to do updates as um, soon as I talk with Robert again and uh, get some information. But uh, he is trying to get this where he's trying to research this where he can do uh, cold, cold packing for shipping. So that could be available pretty soon. Um, it's a very unique little store um, that he's got. <clears throat> And uh, and these are these are great little gift ideas and nice to take to like family get-togethers. These little logs. Woo, man! You smell that jalapeno coming out of there? Mm. <laughs> uh, wow! He did give me a sample of this the day that I that I went by his shop really good um oh man look at that some of the cheeses have been slicing good and some have not been sli slicing very good they uh they're so they're full of so much good ingredients that they just you just can't slice them very well um some i would i was uh thinking that maybe they would be better as a ball, um, a cheese ball. This one looks like it might slice pretty good. Can you grab the phone, please, buddy? Let's see what it does here. That might do. I can't see it. Let's see, I keep it right, right around in there. Uh, that's yeah that's not bad that's slicing pretty good mm -hmm. yeah, right there. not bad not bad at all Ooh, it's got a nice nice appearance in there nice quality appearance mm -hmm. Okay, you can set her back up, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna try these. Uh, my wife thought, and I think Jeremy agreed, that these might be good with wheat thins. Mm -hmm. um, I was thinking maybe tortilla chips, but I mean, it's not a dip. I mean, this is a, a cheese log, so you just have to take a piece off and put it on, on a chip. But let's just see how it is on wheat thins. First, let's get a bite of it, though. I keep almost forgetting to do that. Mm. Yeah, I forgot to actually smell it, didn't I? Mm. You're getting nice jalapeno smell, and you're getting the Monterey Jack cheese aroma out of there, aren't you? Mm -hmm. That is good. Mm -hmm. 
What do you think about the heat range? Um, it's getting my throat a little bit, but it's tolerable. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, it's subdued. I mean, it's not. It's not a raging fire, you know. Um, I mean, yeah, like you said, it's in my throat. Mm -hmm. There's some heat, but you still got all the flavors on the palate and in the mouth, and just mm -hmm. it's still a pleasing, very pleasant taste. I'm gonna get you a little chunk on the cracker now. It has nice texture. You want a single? You want a single or you want it on top? Just mm, this one. Ready? Mm -hmm. good with that. Mm -hmm. Wheat thins are lightly salted and they got you know of course the wheaty and grainy and that salty and green graininess go good with the with the flavors of the cheese. It does. You can slice these nice and thin, put them on these crackers. That's what they look like. And put them out, display them on a plate. Also mentioned these are big ones. Oh, these are the big, yeah, these are the big ones. The normal ones are a little smaller. That's true. I think the big ones are good though. For mm. These size, the size of cheese. Mm -hmm. Let's see if this cheese makes this cream soda taste any better. No, cream soda's still nasty. Just kidding. <laughs> it's not nasty. No, it's not nasty. It's all right. Mm -hmm. Hey, really good. Mm -hmm. um, very nice job, Robert. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna get one of these up for my wife to try. Hopefully she'll She'll take it like a big girl and eat this. <laughs> uh, she might be pretty apprehensive, but she might like it. Mm -hmm. Robert did give me some uh, habanero cheese, um, just a little bit. He said, just take a little bit because if you're not really used to you know, the, the hot, the real hot heated stuff. And you might not like this. So I took a little bite and yeah, it was a little overwhelming, just that little piece and he had, had me a bottle of water ready. But I'm sure the people that do like hot stuff, they probably would love that. And, and there's probably stuff you can put it on that would tame that heat down a little bit and make it a very pleasurable, you know, cheese experience on whatever food you might put it on but uh yeah okay well we'll end it there we're gonna go have a few more of these with the wife and then um, get back to work thanks for watching we appreciate it and uh, robert does have a facebook page he does have a gmail you can contact him if you want you can go to his facebook and look up some more about split log farms and um yeah Ask him some questions yourself if you want. I'm sure there's ways to do it, especially through Gmail. Um, but, uh, okay, well, we'll end it there, and uh, we'll see you all on the next one.